Welcome to my first Final Fantasy XIV drama series video. This is something new I wanted to try to see if people enjoyed these kind of stories in Final Fantasy XIV. This video will be more like a podcast where you will listen as I read someone's personal Final Fantasy XIV drama experience. Today's story is about static drama in Final Fantasy XIV. Let's begin the story. I'll start off by saying I was a role player before. And while I played the game a lot, I didn't really do much endgame content in Stormblood. I started playing again a month before Endwalker came out, rushed Shadowbringers, and then went hard on tougher content. When I came back, 90% of my friends were gone, and I only had a few who still played. One of the people who stayed is an extremely experienced Final Fantasy player, and I often asked her questions about how to improve. I asked her many times if I could join her in Party Finder, but I felt like she didn't want me around because I was still too weak. So it gave me a goal to strive towards. I'm going to call her Amanda. I was looking for a static since extremes, but I haven't found any mid-core hardcore groups because I have no history. During one time in P3S, I had helped this group of like three people clear it and my DPS was quite high and they asked me if I wanted to join their project. I said yes. So we started talking on Discord. Around this time, Amanda's static collapsed and she was feeling down. With her new free time, we hung out a lot and found it convenient to get a ceremony bonding with each other for the mount, the haircut, and the digs. I will specify that we had a long conversation beforehand about how we would keep being friends and the bonding was only for the gear. She had some static trials, some of which she streamed so I got to watch, and they all went pretty horribly. One static started sharing child pornography on their Discord. She got really down by the whole thing. This is when the group told me they needed another DPS, and it happened to be Amanda's role, so I asked her if she wanted to try. She said she would do one trial to see. I was pretty hyped now because I could really see how much I've improved. Fast forward one week to the day before the trial, a new Discord was created for the team. Everyone was there, some light conversations were had, and it seemed quite chill. One evening, I was up late and a person on the Discord asked if anyone wanted to do P2S for logs. I said yes, so we hopped into Discord. Let's call this person Stacy. The P2S for logs did not go well, but we talked for a while and I got to know her. She was quite chill. The next day during the evening, an hour before the static trial meeting, people started to come into the voice chat. Amanda joined, but she muted herself. She seemed to be in a bad mood already and Stacy was late, and Amanda had started to badmouth her. This hostility would seep through into the evening, giving the trial this weird atmosphere of hostility. At the end of the raid, Stacy decides to speak up. Stacy says, Who is this girl? Is she your girlfriend? I respond with, No, but she is my in-game wife. This spirals into an extremely uncomfortable voice chat conversation with Stacy asking me some very personal questions about myself. And Amanda just using autocomplete words like, I feel ill. Stacy was very obviously riling Amanda up and Amanda felt like she had some sort of ownership over me. Both girls ended up quitting the voice chat and I was just left with the guys completely confused. So I have a chat with Amanda asking why things are weird when we had a five hour long conversation about how it isn't supposed to be weird. She apologized and agreed, let's just cool off for a bit. So that was fine. The weird part is what happened with Stacy. Now I've known Amanda for a really long time, like five years now. I know what happens when she's upset. I've seen her go through some pretty terrible relationships. I know she's not petty. However, Stacy ends up leaving a message in the static discord blaming me and for her departure. You can count me out of the static, OP's girlfriend telling me to kill myself because I am in here? That goes too far. Now I respond obviously with uh, no, that's not possible. I know her. And the people in the static believed her over me. And she begins using the fact that I was defending Amanda as justification that we were in a relationship. Though I do not understand why this was even an issue or a thing when I told everyone in voice chat that we weren't like that many times in the evening while Amanda was present in it. Stacy says that someone raided her discord after the trial, telling her to kill herself and spamming her channels. She said that she has a very good relationship with everyone and nobody would ever do that to her. Nobody except my so-called psycho girlfriend Amanda. 
So the static dies and I'm left utterly confused with no idea who to turn to about it. Five days later, I am in a trial for a new static. I am on an out who hasn't cleared the raids yet. And I'm visiting Stacy's server because one of the static members is from there. Who do I find in Limsa having an argument with another person? It's Stacy with a name change. She has changed her name and is pretending to be someone who bought the account from the original owner. The person arguing with Stacy is saying to people around Stacy, Don't stay near her. Get away from her. She's super toxic. This girl flirts with everyone's boyfriends while telling the girls that she's a lesbian. She attacks any woman who is in her raid group if she's friends with the guy she's focusing on. She causes drama between friends and lies about major incidents. An awful person. And it isn't just one person. There are like five people there who also agree. They are all telling Stacy to get the fuck out. This all blew my mind that I was witnessing this live. I was questioning reality, you know? Like, could I have misjudged my friend for five years? I misjudged that she was going to act hostile towards other girls. Could she be someone who goes on discords and gives death threats? Stacy maybe wanted to leave the static and needed a convenient excuse. Or maybe Stacy wanted me out. Her real motivation, I won't ever know. But what I do know is I'm keeping arm's length on while I find a new static. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this Final Fantasy XIV drama story. If you have any of your own drama stories that you'd like me to share and read out anonymously, feel free to reach out to my Discord, discord.gg/patcha. And I'll see you guys in my next video.